in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Emmanuel, come to save your people. Come, Emmanuel, come delay no more. Come, Emmanuel, come to save your people. Come, Emmanuel. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us feel the precious presence of our Lord Jesus in our midst, in our home, and with our family as we prepare ourselves for the birth of our Lord Jesus. Each one of us are called to make our path straight. Mend our ways from the crooked ways. If we are no longer so, it is entirely due to the grace of Christ. Through His coming to our souls, all our crooked ways have been straightened out. If Christ did not come to your soul, of what use would his historical coming in the flesh be to you? Let us pray that each day we may experience his coming and be able to say, It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Jesus my Lord has come then. He has smoothed out your rough places and changed your disorderly ways into level paths, making in you an unimpeded road, a road that is absolutely clear, so that God the Father may walk in you and Christ the Lord make his dwelling in you and say, my Father and I will come and make our home in them. Opening prayer. Loving Father, may nothing be an obstacle for us from receiving Christ with joy, for He is our true and living way. Open our hearts that we may prepare a welcoming path for Him in our hearts. May we allow ourselves to be led by Him on the ways of eternal life for he is the good shepherd who feeds his flock and tenderly gathers the lamb and carries them in his bosom you live and reign forever and ever amen jesus master is the truth let us now listen to the Word of God taken from the Holy Gospel of St. Mark. The Lord is with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 1, verses 1 to 8. 
द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द गॉस्पल ऑफ जीसस क्राइस्ट द सन ऑफ गॉड एज इट इज रिटन इन द प्रॉफिट्स बिहोल्ड आई सेंड माई मैसेंजर बिफोर यू हु शल प्रिपेयर योर वे बिफोर यू द वॉइस ऑफ वन क्राइंग इन द विल्डरनेस प्रिपेयर द वे ऑफ द लॉर्ड मेक इज पास स्ट्रेट John did baptize in the wilderness and preached the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins and there went out unto him all the land of judea and they of jerusalem and were all baptized of him in the river of jordan confessing their sins and john was clothed with the camel's hair and with a girdle of the skin about his loins and he did eat locusts and wild honey and priest saying there comes one mightier than me the latch of whose shoes i am not worthy to stoop down and unloose i indeed have baptized you with the water but he shall baptize you with the holy spirit the gospel of the lord john the baptist is a very important figure that accompanies the church's preparation for the coming of christ as we continue on our spiritual journey in the advent season the prophetic exhortation of the one who cries out in the wilderness resounds anew in the depths of our heart prepare the way of the lord indeed prepare the way of the lord is the living word of god addressed to us today through the precursor John's prophetic cry what does it mean for us the message of God's word coming to us today is twofold to convert ourselves first to the Lord who comes and then to dedicate ourselves to the missionary task of witnessing in the first place the committed task of preparing the lord's way within us in our hearts in our lives before thinking of converting others we should first be converted to the lord seek him in our prayer serve him in our brothers and sisters and follow him in the eventful scandal of the cross the advent programmatic cry prepare the way of the lord is therefore a call to a personal conversion as well as a vocation to proclaim the message of consolation John the Baptist appears as a wilderness man wearing a garment of camel skin living on locust and wild honey with a leather girdle round his waist he draws attention not to himself but to jesus he is the messenger jesus the message he is the voice jesus the word he is the servant jesus the master he is the bridegroom's friend jesus the bridegroom why did john the baptist choose the wilderness 
to proclaim and preach Christ. Why did he not instead go to the city and town squares? The wilderness was a key word for the people of Israel, bringing back precious memories. In the wilderness, they were tried and tested. There they grumbled and complained against God. There were they saved. There they became a nation. There was their relationship to God restored. There they learned to depend on God. Their God would lead them to speak to their hearts. They discovered the route to the promised land. Bombarded by a deafening disciple culture, battered by commercialism, bruised by the relentless onslaught of a consumerist society, dazed and dazzled as we are by tinsel, trash and trinkets. We need the wilderness of silence and solitude to make that most intimate and intricate journey the wilderness of our heart. The heart of our Advent preparation is the preparation of our heart. Kamo Devetsa Come to save your people Kamo Devetsa Come delay no more Come to save your people Come Devetsa Come delay no more Jesus Master is the way Let us now confront the world by examining our heart we open our hearts to listen to the promptings of the living world. Let us ask ourselves with limpid honesty. The prophetic mission of John the Baptist in the wilderness was to prepare the path of the Lord and to point to Jesus. The prophet Isaiah speaks of a heavenly voice cries out, in the desert prepare the way of the Lord. What am I doing in this Advent season to prepare the path of the Lord? Have I allowed myself to be purified in the crucible of trials and sufferings? Have I embraced the mission to be a herald of good news? the time and space in which I work and live? What is the progress of my exodus through the wilderness and challenges of daily life? In my spiritual journey, do I allow myself to be led by Jesus Christ, the Good Shepherd, just as the people of Israel were led? the desert by the cloud of God's loving presence on their way to the promised land? Pray, Heavenly Father, I believe in your wisdom and love. I believe you created me for heaven, marked out for me the way to reach it and await me there to give me the reward 
of the faithful servant. Give me light and show me this way. Grant me the strength to follow it generously. I beg this of you through Jesus Christ, your Son, and through Mary, my Queen and Mother. At the moment of death, may I be able to say with Saint Paul, I have finished the course. I have fought the good fight. Now there is laid up for me the crown of the just. Amen. Comfort, comfort my people, says the Lord your God. Cry out loud to Jerusalem, God has pardoned you. Every well it shall be filled, every mountain hill made low. Comfort, comfort my people, says the Lord your God. Cry out loud to Jerusalem, God has pardoned you. In the desert make a path For the Lord Emmanuel Comfort, comfort my people Says the Lord your God Cry out loud to Jerusalem God has pardoned you. Jesus is the life. Let us now, acting upon the word, contemplate with Mary the face of Christ. Let us now bring to mind the mysteries of light of the rosary. The baptism in the Jordan is first of all a mystery of light. Here as Christ descends into the waters, the innocent one who became sin for our sake, the heavens open wide and the voice of the Father declares him the beloved son while the spirit descends on him to invest him with the mission which he is to carry out another mystery of light is the first of the signs given at Cana when Christ changes water into wine and opens the hearts of the disciples to faith. Thanks to the intervention of Mary, the first among believers. The preaching by which Jesus proclaims the coming of the kingdom of God calls to conversion and forgives the sins of all who draw near to him. In humble trust, the inauguration of that ministry of mercy, which he continues to exercise until the end of the world, particularly to the sacrament of reconciliation, which he has entrusted to his church. The mystery of light par excellence is the transfiguration traditionally believed to have taken place on Mount Tabor. 
the glory of the godhead shines forth from the face of christ as the father commands the astonished apostles to listen to him and to prepare to experience with him the agony of the passion so as to come with him to the joy of the resurrection and a life transfigured by the holy spirit a final mystery of light is the institution of the eucharist in which christ offers his body and blood as food under the signs of bread and wine and testifies to the end his love for humanity for whose salvation he will offer himself in sacrifice prayer of intercession is the way of solidarity god the almighty father stretches forth his hand again to take possession of the remnant of his people let us make a prayer to him our response shall be lord hear our prayers for the pope's intention for this month of december for a life of prayer that a personal relationship with jesus christ be nourished by the word of god and a life of prayer we pray to the lord lord hear our prayers lord grant that our works of penance may please you and that we may be ready for your kingdom which is near we pray to the lord lord hear our prayers prepare a path in our hearts for the coming of your word and let his glory be revealed among us we pray to the lord lord hear our prayers bring low the mountains of our pride and fill up the valleys of our weakness we pray to the lord lord hear our prayers break down the wall of hatred that divides the nations and make level for all mankind the paths to peace we pray to the lord lord hear our prayers let us summarize all the petitions with the lord's prayer our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil amen prayer to subdue the corona virus pandemic loving god you are the author of life and the lord of creation we thank you for the wonders of our being and the marvels of creation we trust in you for your faithfulness is our protector and our shield with you the terror of the night does not overwhelm us nor the plague that prowls in the darkness we now turn to you as the pandemic of the corona virus casts its shadows of death upon us deliver us from this calamity and free us from this pestilence 
spare us from the scourge of this disease. Heal those who are afflicted and welcome into your bosom the victim diseased. Help us to work together in a concerted effort to fight this torment. Be near to us and let the spirit of life breathe its healing comfort upon us. Restore in your grace. May we give you thanks and praise in the assembly of the redeemed as we proclaim the healing power of the risen Lord Jesus Christ. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Jesus come, Jesus come, Jesus come. Say to us, I'm the one who is to come. Jesus come, Jesus come, Jesus come. Say to us, I'm the one who is to come. He will come just when you feel never come. He will come just when you think he's gone. He'll be there just when you find he's elsewhere. Please don't be late, be away, let him come. He will come just when you want to shut your door. He will come just when you want to be alone. He'll be there just when you are not aware. Don't make him wait, be alert, let him come. Jesus come, Jesus come, Jesus come. Say to us, I'm the one who is to come. Jesus come, Jesus come, Jesus come. Say to us, I'm the one who is to come. He will come to share his love, peace and joy. He will come to save us all from sin. He'll be there to lift us up when we fall. He's knocking high, open wide, let him come. 